for everyone who joined our webinar or who will watch this recording. Um, this presentation will detail the upcoming updates to the Omnicom online platform. <clears throat> These updates have undergone extensive preparation and careful testing, aiming to achieve a more user-friendly and intuitive interface, as well as improved platform performance and reliability. The key areas of improvement are as follows. Uh, integration of the conversion server into Omnicom Online. This integration will streamline data processing and enhance the overall efficiency of the platform. Next point, it is an enhanced object profile configuration options. Users will have access to a, a wider array of tools and functionalities for configuring object profiles allowing for greater flexibility and personalization. Third point, it is expanded API functionality. Uh, the application programming interface or API will be extended to provide advanced capabilities for managing profiles, enabling automation and integration with external systems. This section will explain the new methods for profile creation within uh, the Omnicom Online platform. As established, the current protocol for adding a vehicle profile to Omnicom Online requires uh, an XML file. This file can be obtained either through Omnicom GPS tracker or terminal configuration. Uh, and subsequent export from configurator application or by adding an object to the conversion server and exporting the corresponding XML file. This XML file is then imported into Omnicom Online. Uh, the update introduces a new add button uh, within the interface, enabling direct object addition to Omnicom Online refusing from the need for XML files. You can see the screenshot from the test version uh, on your screen. This process uh, mirrors the procedure previously used on the conversion server. Upon selecting the add button, uh, the user inputs the vehicle name, uh, selects the terminal or GPS tracker type, uh, and is uh, prompted with uh, the designated port for GPS tracker configuration. Subsequently, the user enters the serial number, chooses the appropriate group, and finalizes the process by selecting save and go to settings. You could see this bottom on the slide. Upon the updated uh, uh, release, uh, the conversion server will be deactivated and all terminal configurations will occur through the Omnicom Online interface only. Uh, while the XML import export functionality will remain available for users who need to utilize XML files generated by configurator or previously created files, the update introduces the ability to create objects directly within the platform without relying on XML files. Upon creating a profile and accessing its editing interface within the vehicle list, users will have uh, three distinct sections. Profile, parameter settings and monitoring. Each section will be elaborated upon in detail below. The profile section retains its standard function of vehicle or object configuration. Within this section, users can specify vehicle information, establish threshold values, upload calibration tables, and fine-tune various object settings 
encompassing safe driving parameters, movement control, fuel management, universal input configuration, and other previously available functionalities. Uh, the section has undergone minor updates, primarily concerning uh, the order of uh, subsections for improved logical view. Infrequently accessed settings have been replaced towards the bottom of the section, while frequently used options have been moved upwards for enhanced accessibility and uh, reduced scrolling requirements. Uh, these fine adjustments contribute to a more streamlined and user-friendly experience uh, within the profile section. Uh, next section, uh, parameter settings, introduces functionality previously exclusive to the conversion server, enabling users to map parameters transmitted by the GPS tracker to the Omnicom online data structure. Um, this process, known as methods of calculation, uh, allows users uh, to select calculation methods for parameters displayed in the log report columns based on the raw data received from the GPS trackers. This enhanced configuration flexibility is now extended to Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals. Additionally, the range of available um, calculation methods has been significantly expanded, encompassing a wider uh, variety of data sources and their applicability to different parameters. This update empowers users uh, with uh, greater control over the data processing and interpretation within the platform. The third section within the profile interface presents real-time monitoring of raw data packets received from GPS trackers. This functionality provides insights into the incoming data stream, enabling users to select appropriate calculation methods for configuring data st uh, structure parameters effectively. Uh, by absorbing the raw data, users can ensure accurate interpretation and analysis within the platform. A significant portion of the R&D effort uh, has been dedicated to refining custom settings, resulting in one of the update's most important innovations, expanded capabilities for handling data acquired uh, via the CAN bus. The platform previously offered functionality for working with main and additional CAN parameters through sp specialized equipment models. However, this functionality uh, presented a complex organizational structure. Uh, users can now independently configure enhanced CAN parameters received through the GPS trackers, including defining uh, conversion rules and selecting specific parameters transmitted by the GPS trackers as data sources. These enhanced CAN parameters can now be used uh, more than just as a source for log report columns. They can now be used as data sources for various functionalities, including fuel calculations, universal inputs, RPM de determination, and so on. Further details regarding these applications will be provided subsequently. Can parameters uh, configuration process means that user specify input data and uh, conversion rules. For Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals, certain parameters are configured within the configurator application. These settings, SPNs, are uh, then transferred to the profile settings where conversion rules are defined to determine the resulting data types after transformation. In scenarios involving uh, monitoring the operating mode of auxiliary equipment where multiple states are received in numerical form, 
users can establish conversion to a textual string value. This can be achieved by creating a, a conversion table that maps numerical values or keys to corresponding textual representations. You could see the example uh, on your slide. This enhanced functionality is available for Omnicom, EDM, Teltonica and Umka terminals as of now. In addition to enhanced CAN parameters, the platform update uh, introduces the capability to configure custom parameters. The configuration process mirrors uh, that of CAN parameters. Uh, users uh, select the values transmitted by the GPS tracker, specify the protocol field containing the value, and define rules for converting it into a physically measurable value, including assigning a name and other relevant attributes. This functionality is currently available for Galileo Sky, Naftelecom and Xirgo GPS trackers with plans for expanding support to a broader range of devices over time. Similar to CAN parameters, processed uh, custom parameters can serve as data sources for high level parameters displayed in existing reports, utilized in analytical parameter calculations and integrated into other platform functionalities. Uh, this expands the versatility and utility of custom parameters within uh, the Omnicom online ecosystem. Uh, by the way, colleagues, if you get any questions uh, during uh, these presentations, please, uh, you're welcome to put them into our chat and we will uh, go through your questions after slides will be finished. Uh, the final category of custom parameters involves data acquisition via Modbus protocol. Some GPS trackers possess uh, dedicated protocol fields responsible for Modbus data transmission. This functionality is available for Omnicom, Arnavi and Galileo Sky GPS trackers now. Similar to CAN and custom parameters, users can configure input data settings and uh, specify conversion values for Modbus parameters. Furthermore, uh, these values extend beyond regular visualization in the log report or graphical representation. They can also serve as primary sources for uh, main parameters such as fuel level, RPM and ignition status enhancing their utility within the platform. Um, the update introduces functionality for combining fuel level sensor data sources from various origins. Uh, while the traditional method relies on values within the LLS protocol field from GPS tracker, uh, users can now simultaneously take values received through universal inputs, CAN fields, Modbus and custom parameters. This capability proves especially advantages in scenarios involving dual fuel engines, such as gas diesel configurations, where a liquid fuel tank equipped with LLS coexists with a gas tank equipped with an analog pressure sensor. By combining these methods, data from both tanks can be obtained directly as volumes rather than as raw uh, values within the log report or auxiliary equipment reports, providing a more comprehensive and uh, user-friendly representation of fuel consumption. Similar combined reporting is available for Modbus, custom and uh, CAN parameters, enabling simultaneous configuration and uh, utilization of resulting values within fuel reports. This expands the flexibility and scope of data integration for comprehensive fuel management analysis. Mm. 
um, previously universal input configuration was possible via XML files only. However, the update empowers users to configure and modify the required numbers of universal inputs directly within the profile interface at any time. Users can specify the universal input type, potential, analog, pulse or frequency, and select data sources for these universal inputs within the parameter settings session section. Um, the scope of data sources for universal inputs has been increased significantly. In addition to values directly connected to the GPS trackers, uh, universal inputs users uh, can now leverage arbitrary parameters as data sources, including those transmitted via LLS protocol, custom, CAN, and Modbus. This expansion uh, accommodates the integration of different sensors operating on the stated protocols, facilitating the monitoring of equipment operating modes. Uh, so the range of potential use cases for universal inputs is increased, enhancing platforms versatility and adaptability to various monitoring requirements. Engine RPM is a key parameter uh, within uh, the Omnicom Online platform, serving uh, as a cornerstone for fuel analytics and control mechanisms. Uh, the update significantly expands the range of data sources that can be used for engine RPM determination. Users can now leverage virtually any parameter transmitted by the GPS trackers, including custom CAN and Modbus uh, data originating from various sensors. For instance, certain scenarios involve getting RPM values from vibration sensors. Uh, the update enables such implementations by allowing users to establish connections, specify engine RPM calculation methods, and configure appropriate thresholds. The combined utilization of engine RPM and fuel level data empowers the platform to deliver the advanced fuel analytics capabilities for which Omnicom Online is renowned. By integrating these data sources, users gain deeper insights into fuel consumption details optimize fuel management strategies and enhance overall operational efficiency. Similar to engine RPM, ignition status is a fundamental parameter within the platform, separating vehicle operating states and uh, facilitating analysis of engine on or off periods. The update extends this functionality by enabling the utilization of different data sources for ignition determination, providing greater accuracy and adaptability to various uh, vehicle configurations. Users can now leverage various uh, data sources beyond traditional methods, including, for example, vibration sensors in vehicles where Voltage-based detection is uh, not available. By establishing vibration thresholds, engine activation and deactivation can be accurately identified based on exceeding or falling below uh, these thresholds, respectively. Um, this expanded range of data source uh, options for ignition status determination allows for a more precise and detailed analysis of vehicle activity, uh, leading to a wider array of scenarios and uh, operational contexts. Um, the introduction of the new profile brings forth a valuable feature, uh, the ability to import and export configuration settings. Practical experience uh, has often demonstrated uh, the existence of complex 
but similar vehicle types, sharing identical settings uh, concerning thresholds, <coughs> parameters, and other configuration aspects. The update enables <clears throat> an option for users to configure a single complex object and uh, subsequently export its settings template, which can then be applied to other objects of the same type. Of course, the option to adjust and modify these settings as needed uh, remains available, ensuring flexibility and adaptability to specific requirements. Moving from manual configuration parameters, uh, this section is dedicated to functionalities highly expected by system integrators. Prior iterations of uh, the platform presented uh, an inconvenient method for parameter editing, uh, requiring users to download, modify, and upload XML files back. The update introduces comprehensive API methods to streamline parameter management. Users can now retrieve, analyze, and update profiles directly through the API. Please note that uh, updates can target specific parameters within a profile rather than uh, necessitated, uh, <laughs> necessitating uh, requesting the uh, entire profile. Furthermore, the API facilitates uh, profile creation and the retrieval of a list of supported GPS tracker models or types for seamless integration with external systems. Uh, these enhancements, enhancements uh, significantly improve the efficiency and flexibility of operations with the platform. This slide illustrates the scheme for are modifying settings and highlights the primary sections accessible through the API. Users can now independently adjust parameters such as name, thresholds, calibration data, and other settings without the need to download the entire profile via, via API, modify it, and upload it back. Now targeted uh, modifications can be made directly to specific ID elements, streamlining the configuration process and enhancing efficiency. In concluding this presentation, let us repeat the key points. First point, uh, conversion server deactivation. Upon the update's release, the conversion server will be deactivated and all further additions will occur through the Omnicom Online interface only. Second point, it is profile migration. Uh, existing profiles will be migrated while preserving their configurations. All settings previously established on the conversion server for third-party GPS trackers will be transferred to Omnicom Online profiles. Uh, profiles for Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals will also be migrated to the new profile structure. Uh, next point, it is advanced notice. Uh, this will be provided before the updates uh, deployment, allowing sufficient time for preparation and familiarization with the upcoming changes. This ensures a smooth transition for service engineers and minimizes disruption. Users are encouraged to review the presentation materials and contact me or technical support with any requests. Actually, this concludes the presentation. So that is all I have to say. Let me think. Uh, all of you for your attention.